You're right, always Andy here from Hangar 10. Um, we had quite a few requests in the last few months um, asking how to do various techniques and airbrushing, so just going to put a short video together um, just to show you how I do rivets, which hopefully might be of some use to you if you're, if you're having a go at home. So we've got this, which is going to be a board for the outside of the unit. All I've done is run a strip of masking tape all the way around just so I can make sure that my rivets are, are equally spaced. And then I've marked on the board the points where the rivets are going to be, just so I've got a reference point. Um, so from the from the pen line, I've just made a, a small little pencil mark, which you won't really be able to see on the video once once I take the tape off, but I know where they're going to be. Now I've got a regular hole stencil, and all I've done, I'm going to be using this hole. So I've masked up the rest of it just to just to keep the overspray down. We can take that off now. Got that cheap masking tape coming across in bits. So I'm going to use two airbrushes just to make life a little bit easier rather than going backwards and forwards. So the first one I've got black in and all I'm going to do is put the circle over where my pencil mark is, trying to get the pencil mark roughly in the middle of the circle. Then I'm just going to paint black just on that lower edge of it, the, the, the lower half really. And I'll make sure my stencil is properly stuck down with cheap rubbish masking tape. Just about that amount, and then when I get the white in, we'll do exactly the same again. Go back on it, but then we'll just aim for the top half of it, and that'll give us a basic outline. So what I'm going to do now is start to go all the way around. I'll keep working and I'll come back to you in a second. I'm going to speak this bit up anyway, Jim, if you want to make noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Perfect. Okay, so I've whizzed around the whole board now and put my put my outside with it on. What I'm going to do now, I've done exactly the same again, but with a with an even smaller circle. Um, and I'm going to do the the punch in the middle of the of the rivet. So all we're going to do is line back up with the with the pencil mark. If it's not exactly in the middle, it it doesn't matter. It's going to be an industrial looking panel. Um, so if nothing's exactly perfect, it, it, it's all going to be part of the charm. And I'm going to do the opposite this time. So instead of painting black from the bottom and white from the top, I'm going to do reverse. I'm going to paint black down and then white up. Because I'm imagining my light source is coming from this direction. If you've noticed, all the white's a little bit off-centred, slightly to the 11 o'clock position. So I'm going to do exactly the same now. So pick my rivet, find the pencil mark that's in the middle. And just give a little hint of black over the top. And then come back in with my white. So all I'm going to try to do, I'm not going to try to paint the actual board, the canvas. I'm going to try to paint the paper, let the overspray travel, and that's going to give me my highlight. Like that. So I'm going to whiz around now and do the other God knows how many and I'll get back to you. So I worked my way around now and I've done the middle punch in, in all of these. Um, you can carry on going, you can make it as, as detailed and distressed as you want. You can come back in with the white and give it a tiny little glint to make it even more pop. Um, we can have a drop shadow, so I've got the, the same stencil but I'm just going to use the actual circle now. So if you hold that up to a, to a rivet. And again, same again, what I'm going to do is blast a bit of black actually on the stencil and let the overspray travel underneath and that'll give it a little bit of a shadow. Like that, so that will just help. And you could do the same from the top to give it more of a white highlight, but I think less is more sometimes. I don't want to go overboard with this because we're going to add a bit of distress in and the, and the unit's uh, logo next. Okay, so just about finished now. Um, as you can see, carried on all of the rivets. We got a bit carried away by distressing it and just making it look a bit beaten up. So it's going to be a sign for the, for the wall outside the unit. Um, you can see I've got a little bit of rust on some of the some of the rivets. So that's just by using the, the whole side of the stencil, covering up one of the rivets like that. Aim at the circle to start with, and then just drag it down. that's about it so put some clear coat on this and it should be ready thanks for watching i hope that's useful for some of you um please look out for more videos coming up and like and subscribe to the page if you get a chance thanks very much bye